For years, the area known as Suitcase City has been and continues to be an economically depressed part of town. But a multi-million dollar grant may change all of that. Brad Carter is joining us now to explain what this grant is expected to do. Yeah, this is a really, really good deal for that area of town that's continued to struggle for years financially. It's in the northern part of the city up near USF. It's nicknamed Suitcase City because it's a transient area. This grant is hoping to make changes through jobs. For years, Shamika Northern has come to use the computers at the University Area Community Development Corps lab. Come to resource, um, res resources, um, job searches, um, I also do my resumes. Soon, because of a $3.8 million grant the group received, she'll be able to come here more often. This new grant is going to allow us to be able to extend our operating hours till 7 p.m., which is really exciting. CEO Sarah Combs says this federal grant is one of 39 tech hire partnership grants across the nation. It allows for programming and training specifically for technology jobs. And the length of this training course is key. It's going to afford our uh, community the opportunity to be able to really enter into an IT field. We specifically will be doing the Comp TIA um, A plus certification training, which is a 10 week course, and that's going to train individuals with just the basics they need to enter into a field in the IT world. And that's just one component to this. The plan is to use the grant dollars to affect change in the entire community, not just work but home too. The other piece, affordable housing, we're doing that as well. We're really focusing on the area in the community, seeing where we can build, seeing where we can really work with landlords right. to improve the conditions that they're in. Shabika plans to take advantage of those services for herself and her children. I think it'll be good for the community as well. Now, this grant is a partnership between Career Source Tampa Bay, the UACDC, Hillsborough County, Tampa Bay Technology Forum, and the Tampa Innovation Alliance. Also, Congresswoman Kathy Castor was pushing really hard for that to happen. And they're hoping that these classes will start hopefully somewhere around uh, late summer, early fall. All okay. right.